It's currently live. Uh, Truth Tuesdays is the marketed beast, literal or spiritual. Now, you know their take, all right? And I'm not going to sit here because I was trying to listen to it. But they were talking about Esau. Then they were talking about the woman. I thought they were going to get right into it. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to watch it. I mean, you know it's live. Thunder, thunder Israelites. And if they're teaching what the head man was teaching and I did the video on this video put up three years ago. I don't know if they changed it too. But if they're still teaching that uh, okay, somebody put up uh, uh, Revelation 13, 16. So I guess they must be talking about it. So I mean, everybody can ease on down to this channel because I'm not going to sit here and watch two, three hours of a video. chapter 13 and verse 16 and he causes all both small and great rich and poor free and bond mm -hmm. to receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads all right it says he causes how many so like it all he causes all right so we about to see who this all is let's get our uh, revelation 18 and 3 Chapter 18 and verse 3, and it reads, For all nations, all who? All nations, uh -huh. keep going, have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Mm -hmm. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. So, and the, notice, it's, notice it's, it's talking about all nations and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, which is her is the Babylon, America. All right, so uh, let's go back to Revelation. Matter of fact, let's get uh, or in their foreheads. So people get confused. With, people get confused and think this is individuals. We just read who the all are. The all are not individuals. I'm gonna give you an example right here. It says, and he causes all, both small and great. So ask yourself, what is that small and great? If he's if this is talking about regular individual people, what is the small and great pertaining to? It don't pertain to uh, fat and skinny. It don't pertain to tall and short. It don't pertain to money because the next, after the comment, it says rich and poor. So what is the small and great? Nations. Small and great nations. Rich and poor nations. Free and bond nations. The bond nations are the ones that are under servitude to, the other, to another nation. Right? It says to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. These are not individuals that it's talking about. These are nations. Let's go back to Revelation 18 and 3, and let's read that again. Continue that one. Yeah, come on. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay, so it says, and that no man might buy or sell. So people get caught up on the buying and selling. And say, if you don't get the mark, you ain't going to be able to go to the grocery store. Trust me, it's bigger. It's way bigger than that. This, this When the scripture is the scripture is talking about it, trust and believe it's bigger than going to the gas station. Being able to go to the grocery store. It's much bigger than that. All right? We just established this is not talking about individuals. These are, This is talking about people. I mean, uh, nations, my bad. Kings uh, and nations. This is what it's talking about. So it says, it says, and that no man might buy or sell. Okay, so let's go to uh, Revelation 18. Do it anything. What do merchants do? They trade. They buy and they sell. So merchants from other nations will buy and sell with this nation. That's what it's talking about. It's not talking about going to the grocery store. Merchants of other nations will buy and sell with the whore, with Babylon. All right? So it says, and are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Understand first and then rebuke. Understand first and then rebuke. That means you need to let us, doggone, you know what I mean, give our calls first, brother. That's you need right. to let us give our explanation first before you rebuke. Okay? You're out of order right now, Ock. Okay? Right. Read on, King. Answer not before thou hast heard the cause. Read not that again, King. 
Read answer, that again. Answer not before thou hast heard the cause. No, nah, you niggas is doggone wicked. We got the hundred percent truth over here. Answer Read. Not. I want to give all the praises and the honor. All right. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone of whom I learn from daily, and a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity with one mind and one doctrine and one hundred percent truth. Okay. It's, you know, it's clear to see, you know, I don't know, all these other groups, they're either doubling down on their nonsense, which they shouldn't be teaching so, or they keep switching, you know, and changing like the wind. It's clear to see that, uh, you know, hey, what percentage of truth do you have? <laughs> so lucky for my voice. You know, is it is it is it 90 percent, 60 percent, 99 percent? Because you can't trust a man that don't have 100% truth and is quite convinced in his own mind and sure of the things that he has learned, right? I mean, unbelievable. It's getting old. It's getting old. You know, hey, and like the elder, uh, the elder brother from uh, Baltimore said in his video that he did, I guess it's up to Great Millstone to defend the doctrine, to defend the gospel. And that's what we will do. Proverbs 14 and verse 13, even laughter, the heart, which is your mind, is sorrowful. And the end of that mirth is heaviness. You see, the backslider in heart be filled with his own ways. A good man shall uh, satisfy from himself. Verse 15, here's the point right here. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man look well to his goings. See, he looked well to his goings, right? And, you know, and the first and foremost, the first thing is, is feeding the sheep. And when you're feeding the sheep, you can't just give them any kind of food you want to give them. You got to give it, feed them things that are convenient for them. You know, you've got to give them the 100 percent things that they need to progress on. You know, in spirit and in light and in truth. They got to progress on. They got to they got to be fed to nourish their bodies. OK. Unbelievable, man. Isn't it, it's, isn't it supposed to be one doctrine? And what and what do they do? What do they do? Unity camps, this and that, blah, blah, blah. When the scripture said, could two walk, to get, uh, walk together, except they agree. So like, yeah, I got tongue tied a little bit. And that's the truth, right? Ephesians 4 and verse 14. It's so like, yeah, see if I want to go back here. Um... Oh, man. Beautiful. Let's go back to 11. Ephesians 4 and verse 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Verse 12, for the perfecting of the saints. See, perfection is not 80 percent. Perfection is 100 percent. And it's clear to see he was taking a shot at, uh, you know, at us uh, great millstone brothers, man. See, we got 100% truth here when what you were saying is not sound doctrine and it really doesn't make any sense. Okay? It is a thing inserted. It is a thing inserted. It's very clear to see it. Apostle Tahar, uh, Apostle Arabalam, Apostle Gabor, you know, Apostle Rakar, they told us of, of these things. And, and it's clear to see that they have, they're coming to pass. The MOT to the B, it's coming. Along with Jacob's trouble and other things, right? But it's coming. Let's read verse 12 again. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach. See? The edifying of the body. But we're supposed to be what? With one mind, one consent, and what? One doctrine. Verse 13. Till we all come to the unity. <laughs> There's that word I was just using. <coughs> Excuse me, Salakia. Please forgive me for that. All right. The faith and the knowledge of, um, of the son of the most high power unto a perfect man. A perfect man is what? A hundred, hundred percent. Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Hamashiach Yehoshua, right? Verse 14, that we henceforth be no more children 
tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. And that's really, truly, uh, honestly what they're doing. All right. Because they either don't have the 100 percent truth that wasn't given to them or they do have it and they have some other kind of left handed agenda. And there's a whole lot of false prophets out there like that. Let's we got to keep it 100 percent. It's the truth. You know, that's a whole nother video. We can go into it. Ooh, again, so lucky I'm tired and I've, you know, I've been been at it until nightfall or uh, whatever. Uh, who cares about being tired, man? It's all about feeding the sheep correctly, as the scriptures say, right? You know, let's get it in. Let's go. We have no time to pussyfoot around. You know, this shit is getting old, taking pot shots at people when they're out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Teaching the 100% truth. And if you're going off, you got to get rebuked. It, it happens to all of us. You know, hey, I've been rebuked before you take your rebuke. You move on. You teach the right thing. You do the right thing. Gird up your loins like a man and stop crying in your car like a little biatch. Titus 2 and verse 1. Show thyself to be a man. Let's get it. We have no time for this. Titus 2 and verse 1. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. That the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith. In charity, in patience, right? There's no need to be sitting down and taking pot shots and doing this and doing that. Teach it the right way. Teach what has been taught and be mindful of whom you've learned these things from. Because it is the 100% truth. Whether you were here or forbear, where you, whether you believe or you don't believe. And it's clear to see a lot of you actually do believe it, man. You just keep on teaching what you want to teach because because of, uh, I don't know, filthy lucre or whatnot. Some, there's some kind of different agenda going on with a whole lot of these camps, man. You know, the uh, Sakari camp, they teach they teach the MOT to the B, don't they? You know, so how can you have unity? How can you how can you get along with somebody who doesn't believe the same thing? The scripture it, it talks about this. You see, let's let's keep going. So, Lockie, I won't make this too long. <laughs> Unbelievable. Second Timothy two and verse fourteen. Oh, I got a bit of a cold. Wow. <laughs> so, Lockie, for that. Second Timothy two and verse fourteen of of things, of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord Yahweh. Okay, that they strive not about words to profit but to the sub, uh, subverting of hearers, right? Let's see, uh, subverting. Let's go into that word. <laughs> Again, I said I'm not going to make this too long. Let's just look up the definition of subverting right quick. Cambridge Dictionary. We'll go there. Just, just right quick. You know, I just wanted to hit it right quick. Subvert. Yeah, if I can find anything on it. To try to destroy or damage something, especially an established uh, political system, right? It says uh, political system. Let's keep going. What else does it have here? Uh, making it worse. Ooh, look at that right there. Ad. Admin. Uh, uh, ag aggregate. Uh, backslide. Let's see. Uh. Uh, be all downhill uh, idiom compound debase degrade see oh man there's so many dog it, all right so you you sort of get it right uh, they subvert whole houses right they teach you things which they ought not where was i at here yep subverting whole subverting of the hearers right the hearers who are the hearers Every, everybody else the uh uh, uh the the elect really you know the one uh, the one third right those are the hearers the ones that can hear the have a, uh, ear to hear let them hear right the the sheep so like you two brothers and sisters vexed by something I have to check that out here in a minute all right Second Timothy three in verse sixteen all scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High power and is what. <coughs> 
<clears throat> so lucky. Man, I got a bit of a cold here. And it's what and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, right? The right way for instruction in righteousness. And that's what we all seeking for, right? We all we all seeking for that righteousness. We all know that uh, you know, on, on this side, man, <laughs> we are we are as uh, filthy rags. We understand that. We know that. But we're striving for the masteries to get to get better and better, do the right thing and feed the sheep the correct way. Not knowingly subverting hearers, huh? That the men of the Most High may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And it's not a good work to be teaching deceitfully and teaching it wrong just because you want to be right. You know, you got to examine yourself daily. And again, this is, it's getting old. Wow. So what if some don't believe? Well, then you, you then you have your doctrine then. But all the rest, everything else, who'd you learn that from? Remember that. Titus 1 and verse 9. Have a little respect. You know? Yeah, how about Shimei Al Shah is not, is not well pleased with that? Titus 1 and verse 9. Holding fast the faithful word, as he have he have been taught. He has what? Has been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine. Both to exhort and to uh, and to uh, uh, con continuance, uh, convince Lockia. Wow, convince the gainsayers. Sometimes the words get all mixed up. All right, Hebrews thirteen and verse nine. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines. See, for it is a good thing that the that the heart, which is your mind, be established with grace, not with meats. With 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 having not profited them to have been occupied therein. See, it's all about that doctrine. One mind, one body, one spirit. That we what all speak the same thing, and that is in the scriptures. You know, tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine, right? As I read before. This is red letters right here, Matthew 5 and verse 19. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But who, so like you, I got to get my, blow my nose. Wow. Anyway, but whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. See? <coughs> Oh, man. These bodies are terrible, man. Uh, that's why we pray for each other daily. But these bodies are absolutely terrible. Romans 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever thing were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, right? Not just, just making stuff up. Or just trying to be contrary to make yourself sound deeper. Or I don't understand what it is. I don't understand. I don't see what the problem is. You know, but ultimately, how about Shimei Alashai is the one who does the blinding and the, and the one who does the opening of the eyes. See, he's the one who does it. So some are, have to, are going to have their heads down in the kingdom and it is what it is. I got two more scriptures. I'll close out again. I wasn't going to make it too long. Amos 3 and verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Let's go back. I got to read all the way from verse 1. Amos 3 and verse 1. Hear the word that the Lord Yahweh have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, and this is the new Egypt right here. You know, I'm sure those brothers know that. You know, they did take a shot with it. We got it. Apparently, we got 100% uh, uh, the, uh, truth. No, you don't. Because what you said makes no sense whatsoever. Okay? Unbelievable, man. Verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities. Can two walk together except they be agreed? That's the that's the point. Can they walk together except they be agreed? Man, what was it? It was uh, was about three years ago 
where they was going all the way into why can't we all just have unity and this and that blah, 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 because we can't we can't see eye to eye because we because we have 100% truth and you pussyfooting around and you know it you know you are uh, whatever other camp may hear this or whatever uh, other brother you know that uh, that may hear this and uh, not have the same doctrine you know you pussyfooting around you know you are you know it. Let's go here and I'll close out. Oh, boy. Verse two. Let's go to Job 15 and verse two. Should a wise man utter vain knowledge and fill his belly with the east wind? Hmm. Should he reason with unprofitable talk or speeches wherewith he can do no good? Wow. Wow. Yea, thou, uh, thou castest off fear and restraineth prayer from the Most High. You see? And it's, uh, the scripture says pray without ceasing. And pray for more understanding, man. You know, he gives you, he gives you according to, uh, you know, what you can handle. You know? But a wise man does what? He increases in knowledge, right? He, he reads, he studies. And if you know something to be true, you know it to be true. Through what? Through faith of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Then teach it. Teach it the right way. All right? It's clear, we have clearly entered, entered into other men's uh, labors. See? We, we've clearly done that. Continuing the things that which thou hast learned, right? Oh, boy. Verse 5. For the mouth uttereth thine iniquity, and thou chooseth the tongue of the crafty. Ooh, thy own mouth condemneth thee and not I, yea, thy own lips testify against thee. You see that? That's crazy. That's beautiful. No, I shouldn't say that's crazy. Uh, don't take that the wrong way. Salakia. OK, so I'll leave it there, man. It's very, very, very clear to see what the MOT to the BBB is, man. It's very clear to see it. You know, hopefully this was edifying. Give it all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai Bahashem. Rekakwadash. Again, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity, not flip flopping around, you know, and, and acting like a fish out of water, right? <laughs> Every chance you get, chant this place down. DTA and Kwame Yasharala. Wa a Bible ball. Boom. Shalom.